Try not. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Try! <laughs> Try to please. Come on, let me finish. I might get low bat. If I get low bat, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> With or without you. But you're like making a mash. Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. Before anything, please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Help me grow my YouTube family. I have a goal to reach 1,000 followers by the end of December, so I really hope that you will help me achieve that. Okay, so Christmas is just around the corner, and I wanted to do a really quick, easy tutorial for you guys uh, focusing on eye makeup for your Christmas Eve looks. And you can even use one of these looks as well for your New Year's Eve celebrations. Okay, so Christmas and basically the holiday season is all about looking extra shimmery, extra glowy. So you're not gonna see max looks from me today on this video. You're gonna see a lot of shimmer and gloss like what you see on my face right now. So this is one completed look already. I'm gonna take you through the specific... Sorry guys, that was China. I'm not gonna edit that out anymore. I'm not gonna repeat what I said, but this is your last warning. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? Okay, so I'm gonna take you through a step-by-step -step of what I did for my eye makeup um, and also like the cheeks and the lips, but this video is really focused on the eyes. So, if you're ready, let's get into it! Woo! Okay, so look what I have with me here. Is it a clutch? Is it some jewelry case? No, it is an eyeshadow palette. <laughs> it is Tarte's Winter Wonder Glam Tarte Holiday 2019 eyeshadow palette. So for the first look, I was thinking of doing something like soft and pretty and really easy to achieve. So I'm gonna use these three kinds of pink right here. One, two, and three. And I'm gonna do like a gradient eye where the colors go from light to a little bit dark. And it's gonna look very, very um, feminine and cute. I'm gonna start with the lightest one, the lightest pink. Can you see that there? <laughs> Gonna pick up some color from there. Like I said, I'm using the brush that comes with the palette itself. Okay, and I'm gonna apply that to the corner of my eye here. So just at the corner here, and I'm going into my eye socket and stopping like one third of my eye lid. So again, just applying that in the corner of my eye, blending outward toward one third of my eyelid. It's gonna be a super simple eye makeup look for you guys, I promise. There you have it. I am now going to flip my brush. And I'm going in with a second color, which is nice, like a nice sort of rose gold, I would say. Satin finish, very pretty. Very pretty. I am going to apply that into the center of my eyelid, like right here where I stopped the first color, and just on the center. Okay, so next I'm going to use the other side of the brush, which is like the blending part. And I'm going to get the darker pink here. It's like a dark mm, satin pink. I'm going to pick that up with a brush. And I'm going to apply it to the outer corner of my eye right here, starting at the very corner and blending it in to the second color. So at the beginning, in the beginning, it's going to look like a flag with three colors. But after I blended everything, it's going to look more seamless. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to take a clean blending brush and I'm going to blend um, the colors together. Okay, I'm just going to like erase the lines of demarcation and make it all softer. So, if I have never explained this before, a blending brush should be dome-shaped and fluffy. Okay, very soft. And it is very different from like say an eyeshadow applicator brush which is like paddle shaped and firm. So like 
you cannot blend your eyeshadow with an eyeshadow applicator brush. You really need a blending brush to blend. So often when I blend, I just like go over the edges of the makeup, like the lines of demarcation to make them softer by doing small circular motions with my brush like I'm doing right here. Okay, so we're almost party ready, but not quite yet. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna line my eyes and, this, and the palette also comes with, if I can get it out, <laughs> it comes with a mini, it's so cute, okay? A mini liquid eyeliner. So this is a pencil liner, so I can do like a soft eyeliner up here. Since I don't want a very defined line, I could even smudge that later. Okay, I'm gonna go back in now with a dark pink, uh, with a pointed little brush like this, like it's fluffy and pointed. And I am going to apply that underneath my lash line here. And I'm, and I'm just gonna pop on some lashes and I will be back in a flash. Okay, so I have applied lashes. If you can see, my eye makeup is almost done. I am just going to add a bit of shimmer and sparkle to the corner of my eyes. I am going to use this color right here. Again, with a pointed brush. Wow! It's really and I am applying that to the corners of my eyes right here for just some extra sparkle and shine. Okay, so my makeup, my eye makeup is done. So this is your eye makeup look for parties number one. I'm gonna complete my makeup. I did some contouring a while ago, but I am going to use this. It is Tarte's Rainforest of the Sea Foil Finger Face Quad. It's a face quad, so you can actually, I think I can use it, you can use it on all, all parts of the face. If you wanted to use it as eyeshadow, I think you could, but what I'm gonna try to do is use it as a highlight up here. I will use the frosted pink, light pink, and sweep it on the planes of my cheek. Isn't it glitter yet? Yeah. So they use it So this gives you some serious sparkle that you only want for a party because it's going to be too much for a normal day. I've just dabbed on some lip liner and smudged it on my lips and I'm going to complete this look now with it. And I'm going to complete this look now with a lip gloss. So I have this lip gloss also from Tarte and I got it from their gift set of lip glosses, their holiday 2019 gift set. This particular color is called Milk and Cookies. Okay, now we're gonna do my second look and for my second look, I am using these three colors right here. A dark mattish kind of brown, a nice gold kind of beige, and a very, 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 very shimmery gold, like a light gold, a champagne gold. I'm gonna do a bit of a cut crease, okay, but not a super cut crease. And I'm taking my blending brush, again, from the palette itself. And I'm taking this color, it's like a light gold satin color. And I'm gonna blend that here on top of my crease, above my, the socket of my eye. So you're just creating like a shadow on top of your crease. You can go really high with the blending, almost touching your brow here, but not quite. Okay, so next I'm taking my Zoeva blending brush and I'm getting, like, dipping it into the darker brown, which looks like a matte, and I'm gonna apply that into the corner of my eyes. So 
So the way you apply this should be in blending motion, starting from the very outer corner, blending in. And you don't go too far in, you only go, like I'd say, about a third, one third into your island. Most of the product should be here, really, on the very outer corner. So guys, what are you doing for Christmas? Me and my family are having a very special Christmas this year. I'm gonna vlog about it so you'll find out soon enough. So what you're really trying to do here is add depth and dimension to your eyes by just adding a shadow in the very corner. Okay, now for the fun part. I am going to apply this very, very shimmery color. It is called Jewel. That's why it's so shimmery. I'm gonna pick that product up with a very flat applicator brush. So it's flat and it's a paddle shape. You can't do this with a blending brush because then it's just gonna be very messy. So you need something flat that will really hold that um, product to all of that sparkle. And this is really why you need a lot of loose powder underneath, otherwise it's gonna mess up your foundation. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply it here where there's blank space. So for that to really like stick on properly, you could even like wet your brush or apply an eyeshadow primer before. And the motion that you should do with your brush is like a pat, 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 pat motion. And be careful not to get it anywhere else. I mean, just really apply it in this area. Otherwise, it's going to mess everything up. Okay, so just a reminder to be very cautious when you're using glittery powder stuff because it can get really messy. But anyway, I'm going to complete the eye makeup by swiping on some dark shadow underneath my eye lashes here. Okay, so that's all for the eyeshadow. Let me apply some eyeliner now and some lashes. I'll be back. Okay, I'm done with my eyes. I just added some liner, some lashes, and now I shall go back to the face quad. And I'm gonna use the other color here, which is more of a peachy gold color. And again, I'm gonna sweep that here, right here. That is gonna give us that. Finally, I've taken another one of the lip glosses in the lip gloss kit from Tarte from their holiday 2019 lip gloss kit. And this one is called Twinkle. So this is like a golden peachy kind of color. And I'm not using anything on the base of my lips. I am just going to use this because like the focus really of this makeup is the eyes so you want to keep the lips just like nice and light not the tension grabbing okay guys I am done and that is it those are our two eye makeup looks for your Christmas Eve parties I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed this video. Before I go, it is time for my fun Filipino word of the day. So, my fun Filipino word of the day is namamasko. Namamasko. Namamasko means to ask for a Christmas gift or to ask for cash for Christmas. So, if you have godparents or maybe your bosses, you can say to them, namamasko po. And that means that you're asking for a Christmas gift in a very respectful way. In the Philippines, you hear that a lot when little children are caroling by your gate, like outside of your door. They're gonna sing, and then they're gonna say, they're gonna knock on your door, and they're gonna say, and then you're gonna shout, walang tao. That means no one's here, no one's home. Anyhow, that is my fun Filipino word of the day. No mama school. No mama school. Okay, later we'll practice it.
Okay, so my shout out today goes to a very, very special person. He is my favorite male in the entire universe. He's my favorite human species that is a male and his name is Dallas. He is nine years old and he is so cute and he has been asking me for a shout out. So to my son Dallas, I love you. I'm here. <laughs> If you want a shout out, let me know in the comments down below or send me a personal message. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like if you liked it. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't followed me on Instagram as well. Thank you again and I love you. See you next time. Bye.